Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Valentin. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. And in this video, I'm going to go over the key aspects of cryptocurrencies and answer some important questions like what are they? Are they a safe investment? Um, how do you buy it? And should you get into it today? All right. So what is crypto? Well, cryptocurrency is a form of payment. That's the easiest way to look at it. And you can use that to exchange it for an online good or service. Now, many companies have issued their currencies, often called tokens, and these can be traded specifically for a good or service that that particular company provides. Now, a good analogy is to think of them as arcade tokens or casino chips. Um, so basically, you need to exchange real money in order to get this cryptocurrency and then access a good or service that a specific company provides. So what is the technology behind crypto? Well, the tech is called blockchain, which is basically a decentralized technology spreading across many computers globally that manages and records transactions. Now, the interesting thing about this is by spreading its operations across a network of computers, blockchains allows Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to operate without the need for a central authority, which is uh, the opposite of how uh, the current banking system works. This not only reduces the risk, but also eliminates many processing and transaction fees, which is a big bonus to crypto. So how many cryptocurrencies are there today? Well, I've listed here a bunch of them um, in no specific order. And as of February 2021, more than 6,700 different uh, cryptocurrencies are traded publicly with a total value of more than $1.6 trillion. I believe that Bitcoin and Ethereum are some of the top at the moment. So what's the advantage of buying crypto? Well, advantage number one is crypto removes central banks from managing the money supply, potentially reducing uh, upcoming inflation. Number two, the decentralized processing and recording system behind blockchain can be more secure than a traditional payment system. And number three, speculators particularly like crypto because they're going up in value and they, they don't really have a specific interest in how this currency is gonna um, the long-term use or distribution or, or just public acceptance. They just want to use it as a speculative investment and jump on the hype train. So are cryptocurrencies legal? Well, the legality of crypto uh, is largely dependent on the country or state that you live in. In the United States and Canada, usually there's a sort of a positive acceptance towards Bitcoin and other crypto. So you can use them at many popular stores and i've listed a few examples here like microsoft subway and tesla but there's many other stores that accept them now other countries like china russia vietnam and colombia to name a few have banned or made the currency legal at the moment and it's important to know that bitcoin is not viewed as a replacement for the us or canadian dollar in our case but it's it's a different category called the money services business and it's also subject to taxation laws and the last important tip under this is always remember that bitcoin they're not issued endorsed or regulated by any central bank instead they're created to computer through computer generated processes known as mining and what that means is that you should always check with your local bank whether they accept crypto transactions if you're planning on using them all right, so where can you buy crypto? Well, to, to start off, you first require a wallet, which is basically like an online app that can hold your currency. And you can generally create an account on an exchange and then you can transfer real money to buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. To give you an example of a popular exchange, Coinbase is one that a lot of people use. And this is a trading exchange where you can create both the wallet and buy and sell Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Now, I'm mentioning Bitcoin here over and over because this is the most popular, the one that most people are familiar with. Now, other honorable mentions of these uh, sort of exchanges that you can create a wallet and trade Bitcoin um, are Crypto, Robinhood, Wealthsimple, and eToro. So is crypto safe? Well, cryptocurrencies themselves are very secure exchanges, but they can be affected by a variety of vulnerabilities um, making them a prime target for hackers. So basically, uh, while the currency is safe, the exchanges where these are being dealt can be hacked into. And as we can see here, over $292 million worth of cryptocurrency and 510,000 user logins were stolen from crypto exchanges in 2019 alone. 
and I'm sure this uh, number went up in 2020. So you have to be a bit careful. Now, the blockchain industry is growing stronger every day, and they are advancing in the financial infrastructure. And this should give professional and individual investors sort of the tools to kind of manage, uh, increase confidence, and safeguard their crypto assets. And uh, to make sort of things more welcoming, financial giants like PayPal and Square, they're also making it simple to buy cryptocurrencies on their platforms. And that provides an additional layer of uh, sort of confidence for the users and invites them to jump in on this. So this brings us to our last question. Are cryptocurrencies good investments? Well, cryptocurrencies are purely speculative investments. They basically know they don't generate any cash flow. So for you to, um, you know, to, to, to make a profit, somebody has to pay more for the currency than you did. Now, this is in contrast to investing in a well-managed business where increases in values occur uh, over time by growing the profitability and cash flow of the operation of that business. So you can see the difference between the two. Now, one of the biggest arguments against crypto is its stability. So in, if, you, if you're just as you're aware, in order for a currency to be established and persist in the future, it requires stability so that merchants and consumers can determine um, what the fair price is. Now, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have been anything but stable through much of their history. I included a little example here. For example, Bitcoin traded close to $20,000 in December 2017, and then its value dropped to as low as $3,200 a year later. Now, in December 2020, it skyrocketed again, and it was trading at record levels once again. So this creates a lot of confusion in the market. Um, if people believe that crypto may be worth a lot more in the future, they're less likely to spend and circulate them today, making it less viable as a currency. So they're treating this not necessarily as a currency, but like a speculative investment, like they would to any stock and they, sh they just do momentum buying. So to actually use it worldwide as an accepted currency, it'd be very difficult considering the current trends. So in conclusion, as I previously mentioned, crypto is very speculative and very volatile, but there is possibility to make a lot of money if you catch the momentum train. If you really want to get your fee web, but you want to minimize your risk, I recommend investing in the newly established crypto ETFs. Um, there's two of them, btcc.eu for United States and btcc.b for Canada. Now, I've included here a few other honorable mentions like QBTC, QETH. These are well-established crypto funds that trade like ETFs. And uh, I also included two miners, HUT and Hive. Now, if you're interested in the blockchain technology, Block, B-L-O-K, is also a decent ETF option, which trades on the New York Stock Exchange. All right, guys. So thank you very much. If you found the presentation useful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you.